Hello, 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 Sonic P135 here, what the heck you want to call me, and today we are finally going to be unboxing um, Thorn Rose and 9 Sonic Prime's Jax figures. Uh, if you guys if you guys are wondering, uh, no, I still do not have um, Sonic or Mr. Dr. Eggman yet, but I'll get them soon enough. As, and, wave, and Wave 2 is out now, so um, yeah, but um, yeah. Let's get into these figures. Let's start off with, um, Nine, because I want to see what he's like first. So, yeah, here's his box. Here we got Tails Nine, which is really cool. New York City. Awesome. Um, 70 points of articulation because of the McTow- because of his seven extra tails. And, yeah, you can tell how the figure right here is pretty metallic-y, but... The actual figure is just flat paint, which is kind of disappointing, but oh well. As as well as character description, it says a loner by choice. Tails Nine has an edge to him due to years of horning his survival instincts. So yeah, as you can see, we also have again Sonic Nine, Sonic Nine. Mr. Dr. Eggman and Thorn Rose. So yeah, back to the front. Let's get him out of there. Getting a close look at Nine, he looks pretty amazing. Like he really looks like Nine in the show. As you can see, there is a little bit of texture in the sculpt. So yeah, mostly because Sonic Prime has a little texture in the show. If you actually watch the show, at least. So yeah, he looks really cool. His tails, his nine tails look amazing. Again, they're trying to reference Naruto in the show. I can feel it in my gut. I can literally feel it in my gut. So yeah, his his outfit looks accurate. So his shoes just it really looks like the show. For articulation wise, um he has a little bit of a ball joint head. You can look down. Oh, I didn't know he was at, Nine was actually wearing a um, sweatshirt. You see, like, the little hoodie. It is awesome. Ball joint arms, they go up, like, that high, I believe. And the uh, ball joint elbows. Ball joint hands. Uh, ball joint... Whoa! Crap. You saw that flying. Oh, Jesus. I mean, sorry, guys. Trying to pop it back. Ah, there we go. So yeah, somewhat ball joint legs. They they don't kick about that high. They kick, don't really kick back. Um, ball joint knees. Yeah, that actually happened. I might slow mo that part down. Crap. Um, ball joint feet and his tails actually rotate, articulate. Probably should not mess too much with the tails, though. Be <sighs> so, yeah, he got ball joint tails and his mechanical tails. I don't know if they can rotate. Nah, they don't. Shouldn't probably mess too much with these tail mechanical tails is because I saw um, Sonic and the Bean shows um, review on this guy, and one of the tails actually snapped off. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. But other than that, he looks... He looks, he looks amazing. I, again, I don't really have Sonic or Mr. Dr. Eggman, but hopefully I'll get them soon. Now, up next, Thorn Rose. As usual, before we look at her, here's the box. Botch Cage Maze, which is, yep. There's her and her hammer. 13 points of articulation. Her character description reads... Thorn is a version of Amy who's all about protecting the environment and z zero let's be friends. Yeah. Thorn is like the more is more or less caring than Amy is. So um yeah, back to the front, let's get her out of there. Let's open her up. Before we look at the figure itself, here is Thorn's hammer, which is basically yeah. 
It looks pretty detailed. And can she hold it? Hopefully she can. Uh, uh, gotta like force it in there. Yes, she can hold it. So yeah, here's Thorn. She looks really good. Here's her face, looks good. I, for some reason, but on mine, if you could see that, there is like a pink, patch of like peach paint on her tooth. Which I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with that or not, but I'm, uh, yeah. Here's her hair, which looks pretty cool. Her outfit. And, oh. Son of a. There's a back in there. Yeah, it should be. So, um, yeah. For articulation wise, um, ball joint head. Arms go about that high, bolt joint legs, I mean, knees, um, wrists. Um, yeah, for some reason, when I was trying to get her out of the box, this kind of paint kind of like is trying to like go off of her crap. Ball joint legs, I uh, can't see because what's going on with the legs because of the skirts in the way. Now, this hammer is in the way, too. Ball joint knees and um, wrists in a hinge at the waist so pretty good articulation on um, Amy sorry you had to see that leg popping off so yeah oh boy and if you're probably wondering how if they scale next to the other Jack specifics um, or pull them out right here here they are next to super silver and yeah, they're a tad big bigger than him. Like, let me put silver next to nine. Yeah, because these guys are in a five-inch scale, just like the Super Mario Bros. movie figures. Now, personally, I'm not too big of a fan of how how the f movie Mario and the Prime Sonic figures are five inches. I wish they were four inch, but. I guess they had wanted to add some extra detail than your average Mario or Sonic action figures, so I guess that's why they went with the 5 inch scale. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, make sure if you're new, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one, so bye!